Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this video, we will guide you through the step to troubleshoot and fix issue with your WebLink docking station, whether it's a connection problem or a malfunctioning port. So we will show you how to identify the issue and resolve the problem. Now let's start. So here are the solution first. We have to reset the docking station and First, we have to unplug the rocket station from the computer and power sources. After this, you have to leave it unplugged for at least one minute. Then, plug the docking station into the power source only and check for the indicator light. So, if the issue persists, reboot your computer. Now, move to solution 2. Execute hard drive drop. Test with alternative setup. Use a different cable and hard drive with another hard drive to dock or duplicated to isolate the issue so component step step is known one working cable hard drive and dock to your current setup hard drive duplicator mode if you are using a hard drive duplicator switch it to the pc mode if available now access this management first we have a execute hard drive and dock diagnosis procedure so in this section we have to access disk management like i am showing you how you can do your access disk management first simply first click your window plus r then type a disk mmgmt dot msc like you can see i am already typing it and then hit enter button after this you can see your disk you are using in your system so if you see the drive is unlocated so right click select new simple volume and follow the prompts to format so and now we have to identify drive status look for your hard drive is in disk status and it's so status if you see they they can show you healthy status so there's no need to do anything in this section now they are going to back to our video formatting erase all data backup before proceeding so now we have assigned drive letter if the drive is healthy but lack a letter so right click choose change drive letter and path click add assign a letter and confirm with ok so finalize and check ensure the hard drive appears computer or my computer with the new drive letter and now we are going to solution third install and update software and driver ensure that your computer operating system is up to date with the latest patches and updates so check for update to the driver for your docking station a manufacturer often release updated that can improve compatibility and performance if you are using a display link based product so visit the display link website and download the latest driver simply going to display link website and now scroll down you have to click on the like you are using mac android or chrome or you can use like i am using a windows so i click on this windows and now wait for this and now we have to click on the download button so that's how you can download your and you have to accept this all of this you can update your display link in with the latest driver now let's move to solution 4 so here are the solution for content webbing support if none of the above step to resolve the issue it may be a hardware fault with the docking station step. so reach out to the webbing customer support for further assistance they may provide the additional troubleshooting steps warranty information and offer to replace them if its unit is defective simply we are going to webbing customer support and now you have to scroll down they are the support system like you can email them or call them with this number and also purchase care distributor also so we are going to support drivers and now you have to enter your product model name or serious name and then search it that's all you have to describe your issue and they will provide you some information what you have to take in your to troubleshoot your issue so these are simple solutions you have to take in when you see your wavelength docking station not working properly so thank you for watching our video i hope you like it and we will catch you in our next video